With it being well over a week since Kendrick Lamar dissed Drake in a fashion like we have never seen before on Future and Metro Boomin's chart top and song like that, it's clear that while in the past, Drake may have been quick to clap right back at any rapper who's challenged him. He's taking an entirely different approach to this beef with Kendrick and the reason why will shock you. Now when it comes to Drake, since the entire world has stopped as Kendrick Lamar violated him in a way that people have been waiting to see for over a decade at this point, everyone has been patiently waiting to see Drake, who has historically always been ready to throw out disses at everybody else, clap back at possibly his biggest adversary ever, and decide from some Instagram captions and rants at concerts. The rapper who once made fun of somebody like Meek Mill with a line like trigger fingers turn to Twitter fingers has pretty much now done the exact same thing, and this lack of a genuine response response is really damaging Drake's reputation in the hip-hop world. After being ready to throw out disses at anybody who he's been at odds with over the years, Drake has always made himself seem battle-ready regardless of the stature of the competition he was up against, but now, as Drake stands face-to-face -face with the obstacle of responding back to the one and only Kendrick Lamar, it seems like he's doing everything else but getting in the studio and sending back shots, and when you understand why this is, you have to really sit and question Drake's entire status in the rap game. Now, in full force in a manner like we have never seen before, Drake's greatness is being tested in a way that can truly have consequences on not just how the hip-hop world views him, but how the entire population respects and even wants new music from him as a whole. Now, in the past, Drake either beefed with targets that were too easy to destroy like Meek Mill, or even when they were lethal and damaged his reputation in the hip-hop world like Pusha T, were never big enough to stain his image to the entire world, but now, with not just Kendrick Lamar, but also Metro Boomin and Future, and beyond that, Rick Ross and even Kanye West all moving against him at one time. Drake is against a series of titans where if he makes one wrong move, everything that his brand stands for can potentially be destroyed. Now while Kanye West calling out Drake and saying he watched him when they performed together at their 2021 joint concert and Future and Metro Boomin throwing disses at him throughout their entire brand new album is one thing for Drake. What's really causing him to move differently than he ever has is the looming threat of Kendrick Lamar who didn't just throw some of the most lethal shots that have ever been targeted his way on one of the most successful chart topping songs that rap has ever seen and like that. But on top of the shots that have kicked this feud into full gear, Kendrick allegedly already has another full-length diss track on Drake ready to go, which people are saying could be career-ending. So with all of this pressure looming over Drake from a rapper who is unanimously considered one of the most skilled and respected of all time, he can't just come back and throw out the standard type of disses that he has been relying on to clown his competition for years, but instead, he needs to come up with something much greater, and this is where the problem lies. Drake and his team are scrambling right now to find any sort of skeletons they can dig up from Kendrick Lamar's closet, also that Drake can paint Kendrick in a light where he can make a diss truly hold some weight against him, but the problem with this is, it's not that Kendrick Lamar is a perfect person and that he has never done horrible things in his life that could be used against him in a lyrical duel, because he sure has. But instead of letting his biggest rivals make him look like a fool, he just made an entire album album about his failures as a person with his 2022 record Mr. Morrell and the Big Steppers, so in a way, by Kendrick showing us just how flawed of a man he already is, he has blocked off the route that Drake was gonna try to take to win in a full-fledged beef against him, and when you understand this, it really shows you that Kendrick Lamar didn't just ignite this feud in about as insane of a fashion that an MC can but he is really playing his competition like a chess master as he is not just actively coming at Drake but he has already prepared and cut off the most lethal way possible that Drake could have came at him as a whole. So now with Drake really having no chance at telling us something about Kendrick Lamar's personal life to take the spotlight away from him, Kendrick has alleviated all of the gimmicks and potential shock value out of this beef and has really left Drake with one and one thing only, the sheer weight of his skill. With Drake having nothing to dig up, the only way he is going to be able to respond to Kendrick is by using his lyrical ability to write up the most clever and painful jabs that he possibly can, and with this, we will truly be able to see how good of an MC Drake is as he will only be able to rely on the technical aspect of his lyrical arsenal and his own wittiness to step over Kendrick Lamar. Now while Drake is a pretty solid lyricist, it doesn't take an expert to tell you that Kendrick Lamar is miles better than him, so at this point, 
Seems pretty unfavorable that Drake will even be able to release anything more damaging than the shots fired off on Like That, so knowing this, I think we shouldn't expect Drake to release another song like Back to Back because he can't, as there is nothing he can dig up on Kendrick to attack his character, and if he released something like he did at Pusha T with Dubby Freestyle, he would get even more embarrassed than he ever has, so at this point, I think there's really only two routes that Drake can take in this beef. Now on one hand, Drake can continue to just scream on stage and throw jabs through Instagram posts like he's a middle schooler, which overall, will only give Kendrick Lamar the win by default because if after over a decade, that is the best you got. All of the excessive talking and all of the disses that Drake seems to throw out on every project he releases all seem meaningless as when push comes to shove, he can't actually put his money where his mouth is and aside from this route, which would seemingly manage to lose him even more respect in hip hop culture than he already has, if Drake isn't gonna release a sole diss track aimed at Kendrick Lamar, with Lamar and so many other heavyweights moving against him. What Drake may do is release an entire EP or even album in the vein of something like A Scary Hours 3, or even if you're reading this it's too late, that serves one goal, to clap back at all the rappers who are dissing him, but most importantly, to invalidate Kendrick Lamar's shots by releasing a body of work that shows Drake being a genuinely great rapper. With Drake recently dropping a record like Scary Hours 3, which showed us that he definitely can still rap, and with that, over some pretty amazing beats from producers like Conductor Williams and The Alchemist, it's clear that beyond all the gimmicks and all the cringy antics, there is still some part of him that can be a feared MC, and if he pushes himself to respond to Kendrick and all of the competition moving against him like this, while it most likely won't give him a win over Kendrick Lamar, it will definitely give him a respectable chance at standing his own and as this beef is really here for Kendrick to settle the score against his biggest rivals and also just turn hip-hop into a more competitive place as a whole. This would be the best case scenario for the entire genre because if Kendrick Lamar can push Drake into putting enough dedication and care into a record that people admit that it's maybe even as good as his older work, this is exactly what this beef and a competitive hip-hop landscape are supposed to do. So with a heavyweight like Kendrick Lamar putting Drake and even J. Cole on blast now, they along with every other player in the rap world has to show up with their absolute best material or not show up at all going forward as everything they will do will be compared to Kendrick's verse and will either prove all of his shots to be right or wrong. So overall, while it's definitely certain that Drake is scared of Kendrick Lamar right now because he has no way to actually make a full diss track on him, Regardless of Drake's fear, this could either make or break his career as it can show him to be a fraud MC who may be able to dish out disses but can never actually respond when the pressure's at an all-time high, or it can show off his greatness in a way that we have never seen before as with the threat of being humiliated by his biggest rival ever, it may just cause him to do something that we have all been urging him to do for years, make genuinely great music. This is why a beef like this is truly amazing for hip-hop, because while everything else in the music world is subjective, by seeing the route that Drake decides to respond through once and for all, it will truly indicate to us the type of rapper who he is, as we'll find out if he deserves respect as a legitimate force in the hip-hop world who will always defend their honor, or if he's a fraud who's too afraid of damaging their image to even respond to one of the biggest threats they've ever received. With Drake clowning somebody like Meek Mill in the past for taking even less time than he has already to clap back in a full-fledged feud, things are already looking pretty bleak for him when it comes to even getting a point on the board against Kendrick, but as time unfolds and rumors spur around the industry that Drake is working on new material that very well could be headlined by a response, all we can do at this point is wait and see how Drake tries to destroy the rapper who deep down inside, he is terrified of. Now only time will tell to see how this beef really ends up defining Drake's legacy, but as we wait, be sure to subscribe to see how every rapper handles this situation, and if you want to see who I believe released the best rap albums during Kendrick Lamar, Drake, and J. Cole's primes, check out the suggested video.